Very recently, the president of the Palestinian Authority, Abu Mazen, Mr. Mahmoud Abbas, gave a letter to the United Nations asking for membership. Even more recently, I hope you heard his speech, even more recently, UNESCO accepted Palestine as a member. There was a lot of muttering and mumbling around that, but I think it was something we should all be proud of. We in India, YWCA, YMCA, and anyone, need to know that we stood by Palestine years ago, and we mustn't forget that we need to stand by Palestine today and tomorrow until they take their place where they deserve as part of the community of nations with full recognition. So today, let's think of the three faiths of the book, which coexist over there. Let's think of our history. Let's not worry what our personal beliefs are. Let's worry that Palestine is still waiting for the recognition that is its right. Let's worry about that. <laughs> we don't think about this in our daily lives. I recommend that we start. I recommend that we hold them in our prayers. I recommend that we remember them every day. I recommend that we look at the news and see what we can find about them. In Palestine, I see proudly, I'm not fanatic, but I'm saying it proudly that we are not that kind of people who really care about religious diversity. We left, we contributed very positively in the life and culture and religion and politics of this world throughout history. We never fought outside home. We never attacked people. We never attacked nations. We have been defending our land, our culture, our language, our religion. I say religion. There are Palestinians, Jew Palestinians living in Palestine. They are exactly like me. They speak the same language. They dress the same. They have the same traditions. They eat the same food. We have Palestinian Christians, you can never differentiate with them and if you happen to be there and I think some of, the, some of you have been there, you will find out that I'm telling you the truth. We have the Palestinians, the, the, the Muslim Palestinians, they are the same. We don't care what religion you have, what religion you embrace. We care what kind of person, what kind of human being you are. This is what we really care. We have never, you know, we have never, you know, exported miseries to people. We have been fighting to get to gain our freedom, to secure a nice and safe and brighter future for our children. We want to participate positively in the in the, in the human uh, 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 life, in medicine, in, in, in music, in arts, in every field. So that's that's what we, what we are looking for. I really cannot say that youth they bring of that or this particular things. We are under occupation. We can, you can imagine, we can dream of everything, just close our eyes and say that, okay, I have a dream, beautiful dream, from A to Z. You know, you know the suffering is unlimited. The pain is a small word for, the, for, for what we have right now. Welcome to me, I'm a student. As a student who belongs to a developing country, I would like to talk about justice, I would like to talk about peace, I would like to talk about security. But not from the angle that probably politicians would, probably not a very agenda-centric way. I would talk about human security. I would like to make human beings the center of everything. When we are talking about rights, we are talking about youth coming together to build a nation or probably which has already been accepted or is there. It's fighting, I mean, of course, um, nothing compared to what Palestine would be going through. But the suppression process does not stop with the nation being declared. We are, we still have a lot of strata which is very suppressed in, in my country, in their country. So what I would like to suggest to everybody and particularly the youth is follow a human-centric model. When you talk about human beings, when we're talking uh, beyond politics, making it the base of it. Um, I 
have been taught in my school, my church, my neighborhood about the majesty of the Israeli state and its great victory in 1967 war against Egypt, Jordan, Syria and Iraq. The proud Christian are we are. We always think our connection between Jews and how we have to work for the cause of Israel. These are the things it has been taught to us in our school, in our church, in our neighborhood. I have to unlearn some of the stories taught by the media, state and the church. I have to search a moment for truth. It is not only my case, I think it is the case for many of the young people and many of the Christians in India.
night.